So Wolves are in the hat for the fourth round after that nil-nil draw against Swansea in the third round uh, with a replay to come in 10 days time or so. Uh, I thought it was quite a good performance from what is a much changed team today. Will Norris yet again not conceding. That's five games now with three of those are against Premier League opposition as well where he hasn't conceded. He made a couple of good saves as well and uh, played very, very well. Courtney Hawes as well coming into the team for his first start since the Man City game. Again, strong performance. Could have scored a goal, a header from a free kick, uh, which just went over the bar. Couldn't get it down enough. But he played quite well defensively as well. Morgan Gibbs-White was fantastic, I thought, in his brief spell, 40 minutes or so that he played uh, due to the sending off, which I'll come to in a second. Uh, Costa, I thought, played his best game uh, of the season so far. He looked back to his best, running at defenders and getting past them. He played the whole 90 minutes as well, which was uh, great. And Cavaliero complimented that when he came on as well. Bright and Bakari had the best chance of the first half uh, and slashed it wide, really disappointed. I think for him, the best thing would be for him to go out on loan. We've seen now a number of times him playing in League Cup games and now FA Cup games, and he is lacking that little bit of confidence, that little bit of final, final product, the end product to his game. Uh, he's got a lot of good things behind him, but I just think he needs a little bit bit of a run in first team football in League 1 or League 2, scoring goals, and hopefully he'll come back in the summer and be a better player. Now, as for the two red cards in the game, uh, first of all, the Wolves won just before half-time, right in front of me uh, in the Billy Quiet stand, I know. Uh, but it didn't seem at the time to be a red card. However, there were a couple of things to be mentioned about it. Anthony Taylor, the referee, was standing the other side of Vinagre where the tackle happened. There was definitely contact made between Vinagre and Dyer, and we saw with Danny Bart a couple of weeks ago against Bristol where the foot is up and the studs are up. That seems to be an automatic red card. Now, I don't know. I, have to, I haven't seen it again. Whether that happened, I don't know. If it did, then you can sort of see why it was given, but it just appeared as if Vinagre was a little bit off balance and made contact with uh, Nathan Dyer. I don't, Nuno didn't seem to go as ballistic as he did when Danny Bart was sent off, whether that's because he has learned from that mistake or he agreed with the decision. He has come out after the game apparently and it said that he has got no qualms about either red card. Now. It didn't really affect the way that we played because, again, we made changes very quickly and we kept that back five. But then a special mention to Alfred Undai today because he was the only man in midfield but worked his socks off. He got back and forward, he was everywhere and he, he really kept us in the game for a long time working so hard in the midfield. But anyway, that I'd, I'll have to see the Vinag Vinagre uh, tackle again to decide whether that was a red card or not. But as for the Swansea red card, it was never, ever, ever a red card. Leroy Fair tripping held Costa on the halfway line. Although Costa would have been through on goal, he was still on the halfway line. So you can't call it a goal scoring opportunity or a clear goal scoring opportunity because he still had 60 odd yards to go. So th there's no chance of that. Uh, I think perhaps the fact that he got a red card for that sort of suggests that he made a mistake with the Vinagre one and he was just desperate to even it up because there was never a chance that that was a red card. It wasn't a vicious tackle, it wasn't a nasty tackle. It was a clever tackle in terms of stopping the breakaway and it would have been a yellow card for a professional foul, which we've seen a number of times this season. I hate talking about referees because for the most part, I think they do a fairly good job. I think they get a lot of stick, an unfair stick. Uh, we sit in the stands 100 yards away from the action. They're there and they're close to it. They make mistakes, they're humans, and I don't like spending time talking about them. But today, unfortunately, Anthony Taylor, a Premier League referee, uh, spoiled the game a little bit and made it all about him. And that's what we've heard on the radio now coming home, is that he's got this reputation of loving himself, which unfortunately came 
came through today. Let me know your thoughts of today's game. Personally, I'm quite pleased that we're still in the Cup. I'm quite pleased as well that um, we're going to have another opportunity for, to see Will Norris play and to see uh, Gibbs White perhaps given another run out. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week after the Barnsley game. See you.